So stop putting men down with phrases of toxicity. Questioning their male authenticity, oh, just man up. Now every man, boy or lad has heard this term, usually from another male trying to stand firm. Don't be a wimp, man up, mate, using it as if they're trying to motivate. I try to hold my breath and not take the bait, but I can't I fucking hate that phrase. You see, it just makes us descend into this red haze. It's an out-of-date term used to put men down, usually said by some cocky, dick-swinging clown. Or it's not man up, it's take it like a man, once again, insinuating that I'm below, or less than, or give over, boys don't cry, God forbid a tear should fall from my eye, I forgot. I'm supposed to bottle it up, push it down and lie. And look, just because I'm a bit chubby does not give you the clearance to take the piss out of my appearance. Overweight, underweight, lack of definition, none of these insecurities give you the permission. And if I tell you to stop, don't call me a soft wanker, listen. Talk and don't pass it as banter. See, this is a really tough time for men, especially with male suicide rates rising again. They're at the highest peak in over a decade. Don't believe me, look online, they're clearly displayed. And look, I'm not saying that these terms are solely responsible because they're not. But we do need to accept, recognise and realise and not fantasise that mental health doesn't exist or it could just end in another statistic or opportunity missed. And I admit, it's not so much about the singular words or phrase, but the context in which they're being used. It can leave your mind and self-worth feeling bruised. So let's pick each other up and create a safe space. Discuss any problems that we want to face. Ask if he's all right over a coffee, pint or ale. Don't suffer alone just because you're a male. Think again about that comment about his weight because you have no idea if that comment will make him suffocate. So this is my plea. Let's take a stand. Accept the offer if he's reaching out a hand. Let's redefine being a macho man and come up with a different plan. Let's get rid of this stiff upper lip mentality, break this outdated abnormality. Let's make it a formality that men stand in solidarity. So instead of using these words of violence, just see if your mates are suffering in silence. Thank you.